Hello everyone. My name is Shantanu Arora. Thanks for enrolling in our guitar course grade 1 for beginners on be a musician. Firstly, I'm going to explain the brief history of guitar, nothing in detail, but a little bit of brief about this instrument always comes handy. In the 16th century, people created an instrument made up of a huge, massive heavy rock. They put strings all throughout the heavy rock and then they played it like a guitar. Of course, it did not sound like this guitar that we have now, but for that period it was a great invention. That time, the instrument was known as a chordophone. Later in the 18th century, a famous musician named Antonio Jurados created the instrument which is now known as the Spanish guitar or the classical guitar. Let's have a look at the different types of guitars that we play. The first one is known as an acoustic guitar. Any instrument in the world which produces sound naturally without using the help of electricity is an acoustic instrument, which means if I keep a bucket upside down and play beats on it, that's also an acoustic instrument. An acoustic instrument is generally hollow from inside. This is an acoustic guitar and it's completely hollow inside from the body. Now what happens is when I play this because it's hollow the sound echoes and produces a lot of reverb. It's just like you walk into an empty room or a hall and you speak something what happens to the sound? It bounces back. You get echo or reverb from the same. So because of the hollowness of the acoustic guitar we let, we get a lot of echo and reverb and the sound sustains for quite a bit of time. The strings in an acoustic guitar are generally made up of steel or an alloy of steel. Nickel, bronze, copper, phosphor bronze are common examples. Because of this nature of strings, the sound is generally vibrant, it's crisp, clear and loud. The next kind of a guitar is an electric guitar. Now, unlike an acoustic guitar, electric guitar is made up of solid wood. Since it's all wood throughout the body, that is the reason it's a little heavy to pick up as well. Also, because it's not hollow, when you play something on the electric guitar, the sound is bare minimum and you cannot hear much of it because there is no reverb or there is no echo. And that is the reason we have to connect it to a speaker or amplifier to increase the level or the volume of what we play on the electric guitar. It's generally easier to play the play the electric guitar why because the body is thin the neck is thin and the distance between the strings and the fretboard is just bare minimum for one to play the notes and to get the sound come out with ease the electric guitar also has an equipment which is known as a pickup this is a rectangular block that you can see now as the word suggests it picks up the sound just like a microphone and the signal is transmitted out through the jack and through the speaker or amplifier nowadays you get a lot of effects also in the amplifier that can make the sound of your electric guitar crunchy groovy or a heavy or a lighter tone that you wish to play in the song that you are learning the third type of guitar is a hybrid which means we have semi acoustic and semi electric guitars the one that i'm using right now is a semi electric guitar which means it's a hollow body guitar along with the pickup so if i wish to play it like an electric guitar if not completely but similar what do i do is i attach it to a wire here and then this goes out to the speaker or amplifier so i can increase the volume of the level that i am playing the next type of guitar is the classical guitar or the spanish guitar generally it's lighter lighter than the acoustic guitar and of course lighter than the electric guitar people who listen to soft music or classical form of music go for a spanish or a classical guitar now the holding style of a classical or spanish is absolutely different from the acoustic guitar generally below the left foot we have a foot stool which is about this much of height we place it under the left foot and place this guitar at an angle of about 45 degrees the classical or the spanish guitar is generally played with the help of the fingers and that is the reason if you see that i have these big nails with the right hand Though it's preferred to have an acoustic or a semi-acoustic or a semi-electric guitar for this course, but you can always learn on an electric or a classical as the basics remain the same for all of these. There are other forms of guitars as well. 
namely to begin with there is the bass guitar now as the word suggests by itself bass means lower frequency of sound or very heavy sound generally when you walk into a concert and you see your favorite band performing on stage what happens is the ground starts shaking and you can feel a lot of vibrations around that happens in concerts now that vibration is generally produced by the bass guitar or the bass instrument that produces a lot of intensity and punch in the sound that you require it also serves as the backbone of each band which means it covers the background of all of the instruments that are present in the band bass guitar has four strings that is the conventional form but in modern ones you have five you have six and even more the thickness of each of the strings of the bass guitar is very very thick which means if you combine the thickness of all of these six strings that gives me the thickness of a single string of a bass guitar and because it's so thick and heavy that is the reason it produces such a heavy sound the next kind of guitar is a 12 string guitar you may ask how is that possible to have 12 different strings in the same width of the fretboard how is that possible yes it is with each of the six strings of the guitar there is another string which, which is attached at a distance of just about 0.5 mm now the first string is lower in terms of sound and the string which is paired along with this has a much much higher pitched sound so of course when you're playing 12 strings at once it gives you a vibrant and a very crisp and clear sound apart from these you have double neck and triple neck guitars which means over the same body or a little bigger in size you have two necks coming out of the body or three necks coming out of the body now that is of course seldom used it's not very common but people use it with different tunings in the neck and different effects that you produce on each of these necks